Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas, and welcome to Green Power Science. Today, Dan and I, we're gonna show you how to make a zero pot, also known as a pot and a pot refrigerator. So what we're gonna be doing is filling this first pot with sand. This type of pot, you have to excuse the audio, there has been a blimp flying over our house for the past three hours. We have two pots here. One pot is going to sit inside of the other pot like this, and you want them to be flush to the top. We have regular play sand here. Denise is going to start filling the bottom. Okay. Both of these pots, the bottoms are plugged, so you want to fill this and estimate about how much sand. Okay, right there. What? Okay. You want your first pot to sit on there and be nice and flush. So Denise did almost a perfect job. Okay. All right. Now, once you have that, you start filling the outer cavity with sand. What this is, this is an evaporative cooler. This takes advantage of liquid, in this case water, evaporating. If you spray rubbing alcohol on you, you get that cooling effect. The temperature actually drops as the rubbing alcohol evaporates. Evidence has shown that these have been around for over 4,000 years. The sand holds the water in, prevents the pots from just floating in water. It gives it some structure. As that water evaporates, the inner pot becomes cool. You can glaze the inner pot to prevent moisture from seeping in and getting your food wet. We waited until we had a nice drop in the temperature here because we live in Florida and the humidity here in Florida is extremely high throughout the summertime. These will not work at all in high humidity because the water will just simply not evaporate. You will end up with a mold pie. So the concept is food goes on the inside. Food goes on the inside. And it can stay refrigerated for a while. Stuff that normally spoils in a day or two will actually last up to two weeks. That's just incredible. In places where there is very little water, they generally have very low humidity, so these work great. Problem is, water is at a premium there. In places that are subtropical, where the humidity is very high and you have a lot of water, it doesn't work because the humidity is high. So let's so, say somebody is next to an ocean, they don't have access to regular drinking water, they can use ocean water around the, the bigger pot. Yeah, the sea water will actually work with this because the inner pot is sealed. You might get some salt buildup over a very long period of time, but if you're by the beach, you probably have a lot of sand, so you could just make another one. That's really a great concept. Another thing you want to do is make sure that this pot is elevated up. You can set it on the ground, but you lose the bottom. The more surface area you have to the outside, the better this is going to work. So if you can prop this up so that the bottom is not covered, it'll work a lot better. Take it off. All right. Well, this is a zero pot that we made earlier, smaller concept sand around the edge um, and once we added this cloth we let it sit for about three or four hours and I do believe that the temperature is at least a good 10 degrees less so if I was putting something in there it's, it's a great alternative to uh, electric and let's say I was in the desert or something this would be <laughs> a perfect solution to cooling off some food we are in Florida <laughs> and even though it's a very nice day out this did not work quite as well as people who live in, say, California or Arizona would get if they tested this. So, depends on where you live, depends on the climate that you're in. It's definitely a lot cooler. It I is mean, definitely a lot cooler. I, I don't really don't believe that food that would spoil in a day would last 14 days in there in I this humidity. I definitely wouldn't trust meat. You'd probably get a um, an extra day, two days in higher humidity not super high humidity it doesn't work at all so anyways this is the zero pot by the way you want to cover these with a towel a wet towel it has been five hours and the it's 70 degrees out the ground the concrete on the ground is 68 degrees it is 63 whoop. 62 and a half to oh, 62 degrees inside. So there's a pretty good drop in temperature there. If you look, our pot is wet. 
and nice and moist on the outside. So you want to use a glazed pot on the inside and a porous regular pot on the outside. I'm your host Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy your videos. You don't want to. Well, you can. So what we're doing is filling this, and then you want your pot nice and centered, so you don't want to tilt it like Denise just did, because it'll throw you <laughs> off. Our pot's lifting right. Now. <laughs> I can't tape with.